each and every holy in-breath and out-breath is amplified. Amplified and celestial energies aligning specifically in connection with opening stargates. Indeed, beloved stargates that have been upon the earth for millennia upon millennia, indeed, from the very beginning. But it is these stargates that have been dormant for so long. As a great overshadow came, and in this overshadowing, a new projectory experience and unfoldment began to manifest to its present moment. But as the term says that all roads lead to Rome, so too, beloveds, we say, through all potential possibilities and experience, we have come to a nexus point, if you will, of a convergence of a point in time in a reality bite where we find ourselves as a great interdimensional collective of a purposeful and awakening group consciousness to bring about the unfoldment of a long ago commitment anchored in highest service in unconditional love. Indeed, beloveds, you are a part of the deepest of ancient of days and have experienced numerous, numerous lifetimes, experiences, and trajectories. And in the surfing of the surveyor, the surfing of the surveyor of the many, many, many possibilities and probabilities, constant birth and rebirth, constant decay, and the springing forth of creation. You have experienced it all as you resonate in this frequency band. We do find ourselves. And it is indeed in the most ancient of days that we bring your cosmic memory attunement into a deepest and most profound loving commitment. Indeed, a commitment that has spanned in your experience upon a three-dimensional world, aeons and aeons and aeons of time. But yet, from this nexus point of multiple points of not only personal commitments, but agreements and partnerships with the multitude of souls that hold a frequency as you do, anchored deeply in unconditional love and a deep sense to serve and to help and to support. For it is indeed in this helping, this sense of wanting to support that is anchored in the essence of who and what you are as a divine being, a divine being created in love. Created in love. And so it is the reemergence of deep cosmic memories coming up to the surface as now stargates and timelines begin to stir and shift. 
and in the stirring and shifting of these stargates and timelines ignites frequency codes long embedded deep in your DNA and cosmic consciousness. A stirring and awakening. And we say to you now that the idea of Stargate becomes more prevalent in the consciousness of humanity. There are those who have always been aware and it has always been truly in the consciousness, even if not consciously aware of stargates and the possibility of multiple timelines and trajectories. For we say to you, beloveds, you know this deeply for you have experienced it all. And just as how when you begin to awaken out of a deep sleep and you understand and awaken others, so too do these awakening stargates, the energy and frequency of which many of you are attached to, integrated in a resonant field of these stargates coming from multiple, multiple, projectories, timelines, and possibilities in a creation of all possibilities from whence you have come. And so it is in this journey, a cosmic journey that has brought you here in this nexus point of a convergence that has brought here through your commitment through your integration attachment into stargates, timelines in your highest service, in the most prolific of your experiences. We bring you now, beloveds, as the family of light, as those who come from all multiple worlds in this moment, from those who come from the highest of celestial realms, as those who come in various evolutionary pathways, combining, integrating a one point that comes in unconditional love of the divine in higher service. That is the culmination of this consciousness that draws you. For indeed, stargates and trajectories and trajectories were part of all of these decisions and commitments. And as you have chosen, beloved, to walk your personal and collective path of your own journey, and highest service of how that is expressed in only you can express it. Here we are as a collective of myriad and myriad of souls, all being here in this moment, all being here in this eternal now. We're consciously in this creation being able now to integrate the various streams of experiences coming to light. And as it does, it nudges you It starts to awaken you until you find an expansiveness undescribable within your own consciousness that far moves beyond the mental plane of the brain. It may come as flashes of inspiration, 
or in the depths of sleep or in the brightness in a moment that may be undescribable or unknowable, but yet it is there. And we say to you, beloveds, it is time now to pay attention. Pay attention to the slightest of things. Indeed, there are those times when significant things do come and it brings forth your attention in a profound way. But we say to you, there are those nano movements, those nano inklings that are not to be ignored. And as you choose to become more consciously aware of everything, as you begin to say, I will be the observer of all things that happen to me physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I'm going to observe everything. I may not understand it, but I'm going to observe it. And by observing it, recognizing it, and by recognizing it, creating a connection, Indeed, beloveds, this is the path of mastery. As you become fully conscious beings, as even in a world that has your attention on worldly things, there is that part of you that is always conscious and aware. And it is that part of you that you want to integrate into the fullness of your awakening and sleeping consciousness as you work and move on a three-dimensional world. We would say to you, beloveds, that yes, there are many things we know in the world as it amplifies and begins to go through a birthing process that would take your attention. But we want to say to you, the attention is inwards. Your inward attention is what matters now. And so you must sense and be aware of how it is you are feeling, what thoughts come into your mind. What is it that your body is telling you? And as you make this a practice, you become the master of yourself, connecting into the higher parts of yourself that communicate in these ways, different from the three-dimensional communication of sound. It is a different way that we say to you in this nexus point of convergence of turning, awakening stargates and trajectories of all possibilities that you become online. And as you become online, as you learn the new software of yourself, as you make the effort to take the time to first recognize and then investigate and then give it the attention that a connection has been made. You will find, beloveds, that your consciousness expands to new levels of awareness. And where the awareness now will bring to your attention those things that you can do, those things that you are aware of where before you were not. And then this higher awareness allows you to make higher choices, better choices, choices that are anchored in wisdom because of this expanding awareness and wisdom. Indeed, beloveds, 
we want to bring to your attention that you are connected to many stargates. For you are indeed cosmic beings. And indeed, through stargates and through projectories, you've come in multitude places, experiences that brings you to this nexus point where we gather together as a group consciousness now, evolving into a higher level to birth in that commitment that we made eons and eons and eons ago. See clearly here now, there is a white cross, but it is a cross that is equilateral, horizontal and vertical, connecting in the middle of these two lines, white, emanating white, a pearlescent white light. And this nexus point, as we observe it, as we can see deep into it, there is a light deep in the depths of this nexus point of this cross. And we know intuitively that we are to move into this great portal. Indeed, we know it is the celestial cross And as we now come into the awareness and consciousness of our expanded self, with each and every holy sacred in-breath and out-breath, we breathe in this pearlescent white light, preparing ourselves to enter into this nexus point. We simply breathe fully conscious in the presence of this white cross emanating the pearlescent white as it continues to beam its radiance upon us. And we know simply in our physical body to breathe the sacred in breath and up breath. as we are caressed and embraced by this emanating white, pearlescent white, light. And as it embraces us, we feel the deep-seated peace and balance it brings. In fact, we feel that we just want to be here and not move, simply to be. And all parts of us, in all chakra systems, levels and dimensions are touched by this emanating pearlescent white light. And as we are filled with this, we begin to walk into that portal where the two lines cross. And as we step in, it is black, but we could see in the distance a brilliant light. And even though we cannot see, we know to move forward in the depths of this darkness, and the depths of this void. But we have the illumination of the pearlescent white light around us. And so we can move forward. And we know that we are connecting to this light that becomes more focused as we move towards it. And finally, we see there 
a brilliant and radiance that is undescribable, but yet the feeling of familiarity, the feeling of home. And we enter and we see that we are white, pearlescent white, light, radiant. And we discern the others around us who too are emanating this white, pearlescent light. And in this moment, the experience brings forth a cosmic clarity, a great abiding peace, and a sense of perfection. And it is a memory that jogs us in the remembering of our true divine spark the place of our commitment, the place of our love of the divine to serve, to help, to assist that journey, that journey from aeons, aeons, aeons ago. And we simply be in this emanating light, this undescribable. And we look around and see that we are not by ourselves. And the highest parts of ourselves, this emanating grace and love that is indescribable, We realize now in the moving of stargates and projectories, this consciousness nexus point has opened up for us. So we breathe the holy in breath and out breath. And as our physical body brings forth, the inhalation and exhalation, it integrates in this radiant light where our consciousness resides. Creating an integration and a processing, moving throughout the chakra systems, moving throughout space and time, dimensions and realities of the fullness and experience of who we truly are through lifetimes, timelines, all converging in this moment, in this radiance of the pearlescent white light, the nexus point, back into the memory of commitment.
Ibichiyana Neya, Ibichiyana Yeya, Ibichiyana Yeya, Ibichiyana Yeya. And as we can be in this eternal emanating frequency, a profound peace, love, support, divine. We intentionally bring forth our physical, mental, and emotional bodies to receive the memory in ourselves, the memory cells and the DNA that holds this memory. We bring to mind the idea of stargates and projectories, requesting and intending to have a deeper understanding of that. And now we know it's time to return. And with that, even as the energies continue to course in, through, and around us. Even as we want to take a moment to say, wait, not yet, not yet. Just a little bit longer, please. But it is time to go. And so with that thought, the energies begin to step down. We turn around. We walk through that void one more time. And we exit out the nexus point of where that cross resides emanating the white radiant light. We turn around and we look at it. And we put that impression in our minds so we remember on a physical, mental, and emotional level the experience we just had, that time, that place that was just experienced, connected with a stargate. And now we intend to be back in our physical, mental, and emotional bodies. Slowly, but methodically, we step down our electromagnetic field and the myriad of beings who participated in this profound level of consciousness, cooperation, and commitment they too begin to draw in their electromagnetic field, making it easier for us to intend to be back and grounded on the count of three. One, two, Tape a deep breath in and intend to be back, awake, alert, and grounded. Three. 